Hello, good morning, good afternoon, or good uh, um, good evening, wherever you are in your neck of the woods. Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time, my name is Shanita. I go by Nita. If this is your first time being on my channel, I do a lot of things. First of all, I am a lupus warrior. I am diagnosed with lupus. So right now I'm trying to do um, some healthy, healthier alternatives, healthy living so that I can get out of this flare that I've been in for months. My son and then also social media has introduced me to um, fruitarians and then also this um, juicing detoxing is which I'm going to do today. And for 42 days. <sighs> Sorry about that. I had to take a little pause and um, take care of something. But anyway, so like I was saying, um, this journey that I'm on, I'm doing it for 42 days. There are a lot of channels on YouTube here that you can find people doing this. And that it's not a diet. It's not a trend. It is a lifestyle. And I want it to be a lifestyle for me. Not just to lose weight, but also so that I can feel better. I take almost 30 pills a day just so that I can function. I am disabled. I can't work. I have chronic pain from lupus, fibromyalgia, arthritis, and that's just to name a few. I have a total of six autoimmune diseases, and I see several specialists, and have you ever just been so tired and sick and tired of something that you just needed to make a change? Well, this is me making a change from being sick and tired of taking medication, being in pain, going to hospitals, getting blood drawn, etc., etc. First thing first, when you're doing this watermelon melon detox, you need watermelons that have seeds. You need fruits that have seeds because when we get further into this because this is only day one we can add other fruits with our watermelon to juice but right now it's just watermelon and you have to have watermelon with seeds you know why because those seeds even in the juicer grinding those seeds that's where all the nutrients that's where the golden ticket is that's what's going to flush out all these toxins and rubbish that's in our system because we eat so much bad food. We eat processed food. We eat fried food. Just junk. I'm a prime example. I know my behind be eating stuff that I know I should not even be eating. First of all, I have high blood pressure. Second of all, I'm close to being diabetic mainly because my father is diabetic. Um, I love sweets, things like that. I should not be eating, okay? Um, uh, fast food, another thing. Um, you know, we eat a lot of carbs and stuff that's not healthy. Do your research, people. Do your research. We should be eating as close to the ground as possible. That means eating stuff that grows from the earth. A small story but short I'm gonna short a small story but short I'm gonna share try saying that four or five times really fast is that I for my pain medicines and have chronic pain I was on Percocets you guys for almost ten years when I moved here to Cincinnati almost two years ago I was trying to find something to relieve that pain other than Percocet and finally, my PCP was like, you are the, the best candidate for medical marijuana and it's accepted here for certain patients that deal with pain like you. So now I am six months in with a medical marijuana doctor and I take cannabis and use cannabis for my pain. I do not smoke, never smoked in my life, but I use it as a tea, tinctures and gummies. So that's what I'm saying, guys. It grows from the earth. It's better for you. It's not going to disrupt any of your organs or anything like that. Like these chemical man-made things that we eat and put in our systems. What we call medicine. But the medicine is the food. 
the true medicine is the food that grows from the earth and the herbs that grow from the earth. And one of those is marijuana. And it's a medicine. It should be used as a medicine. It should be legal in all states, especially for those who suffer from chronic pain or any other illnesses. So hold on tight, guys. I'm going to show you my lovely watermelon that I got to cut up, and then we're going to get to juicing. So let me flip my camera around. Sorry guys, I am so new to, to documenting and doing the uh, things. You know, I'm learning, so bear with me. Okay, so in the next take, I will definitely flip my camera around. But until then, hold on, and um, I'm going to chop up this yummy watermelon. Actually, I'll just show it to you. Sorry about that. Look at that gorgeous watermelon, guys. You live here in Cincinnati and want to do this? Go to Kroger's. I've been to Whole Foods, Trader Joe's, and I think another place I tried to even order on Amazon, and they have no watermelons with seeds. Let me tell you a little hint before I get off of here and cut this up. Do you know those seedless watermelons are being made by chemicals? Because if you think about it, how does a watermelon grow if it has no seeds? How are you planting it if it has no seeds? Those things are made by chemicals. Are you kidding me? Google it if you don't believe me. Google it. It's ridiculous. I saw a video right here on YouTube about it and I was just like blown away. Anyway, that's why we need the real deal, the ones with the seeds. We know that stuff is not man-made. So give me a sec, I'm gonna cut it up, and we're gonna get right over there to the juicer. All right guys, hi, I'm back. So here's what the watermelon is looking like. I got everything set up and cut up. Here's all the beautiful watermelon. If you can see it, there we go. I have to move stuff around guys. Make sure that you have room in your kitchen or your counter. We're in the process of moving. That's why you see all this stuff stacked up behind me. We're in the process of moving. Oh, I didn't know I had a piece of paper on there. A piece of uh, watermelon. We're in the process of moving. So, yeah. It's, it's been rough. But it's okay. I want you to see um, the juicer, and here it is. Hope you can see it. It's nice, it's small, it's compact. Like I said, we're packing, we got stuff all over the place. So I had to bring it over here to the living room where I'm sitting on the floor where there is a um what do you call it like a little container because the cord is so short i had to sit it up here and then sit on the floor and do this but it's okay because a it gives me a chance to sit here and relax because my back is hurting really bad right now and i can just sit here and juice it away i do want to show you the jars that i got the to keep the juice in, do not use plastic. BBA, PBA or BBA in plastic is really bad for us, especially to store stuff in, in impurities and stuff like juicing should always be in glass. So these were um, $18 for a set of eight. Amazon. They come with a lid, you can store them in the refrigerator, keep them cold, and then when you're ready to drink, they have these lids you can change out to, has a hole in it, and it comes with metal straws that you can use to drink. Like on the go, say you gotta go somewhere but you need your juice, switch out the lid, stick your straw in there, and then you're ready to go. So, I did want to tell you that some people use mason jars. I just wanted to be fancy. Um, actually, these were cheaper than the mason jars. Sorry, 
about that, guys. I am back. Woo! Let me say something. If you've never juiced before a day in your life, welcome to my world. So now I'm in my room. It's time for the moment of truth. Let me tell you, a whole watermelon, if you're going to get the, the cups that I got, I used a half of a watermelon and it was able to fill up four and a half. No, yeah, four and a half of these. So I was able to get four of these with half of a watermelon. Look at this juice, guys. It looks yummy. I'm starving. It is now. Oh, God, what time is it? I'm so sorry, you guys. My eyes are so bad. Like, everything is in large print on my phone. It's 11.03. Yeah. It's brunch, lunch, whatever you want to call it. I normally will skip breakfast anyway, but I'm not really a breakfast person. But for now on, with the juicing, since now I have some made and I will make more tomorrow morning, um, basically, I'll be eating like, or drinking, I should say, is eating uh, probably about 9 after I have my tea, then maybe after my shower, then I will have this. But I have to switch lids. So here's the lid. This is the store and the fridge. And I kept it in there for a while. That's why I'm back in my room so it can get cold. So here's my lid to drink. And my straw. In the moment of truth. My fur baby, he, he wants some too. I gave him a couple pieces while I was juicing. Oh my god, that is delicious. Mm. I can see I'm not going to have no problem doing this every day for 42 days. And even when it's time for me to, like, add other fruits with seeds, such as lime, I will, um, at the end of the video, I will post a, um, what is it called? I will post a list of the fruits and vegetables. So I follow this guy. His name is Paul. He's on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook. And, um, he is a fruitarian, and he's the one that sent me this list, but I will, I will greatly, with no problem, share information, because, especially if you are someone like me who suffers from lupus or any other autoimmune disease, this is great info. If you're serious about getting your life in, on track, feeling better, looking better, I think this it's awesome and so that's why I'm gonna stick to it and like I said this is not something disgusting it's delicious and refreshing yes mm. it's so refreshing and even if you don't like eating watermelon I think drinking it down would be um, more beneficial because there are people that don't even like the taste of watermelon. And when I say you can add stuff, <clears throat> imagine adding a couple of limes to the mixture of the watermelon juice. Delicious. Refreshing. So that's why I'm going to add that, that list for the 42 days um, that you can gradually add stuff. And then on that list, it also has what you cannot have. Okay. But I'm going to be posting weekly to my YouTube page. And if you have not already subscribed or liked or comment, what are you waiting for? Like I said, I do everything on this channel. Mukbangs, grocery hauls, hauls from Dollar Tree, Walmart, Halloween tutorials, makeup tutorials, 
lupus awareness, all that. Just stay tuned because I have plenty more where that came from. And, you know, I am a mother of three young men. My children are grown and I have a stepdaughter who is 13. I need to be here on this earth as long as I can. And I've lost too many lupus sisters and brothers. And when this man who I speak of named Paul broke down what this can do for me, I call him Dr. Sebi Jr. Because so many people have fought diabetes, have fought weight loss, have fought obesity, have fought um, all kind of diseases, just eating healthy. And that's what causes some of these diseases, is just by what we put in our bodies and what we do. Not just exercising and stuff like that. I'm just saying, don't feed your bodies bad stuff. I really believe you are what you eat. And I, if you want to feel better and look better, and or even if you're just doing it to lose weight, here's, here's something healthy. Do it like this. You could do it. And I'll be on your side and your cheerleader to cheer you on. Let's do it together. I'll encourage you every day. I'll call you. I'll pump you up. I'll send you memes. And if I got to send you a TikTok video of me just being a cheerleader, I'll do that. But you know what? Let's do it together. Let's let's get healthier. Let's be better. Let's feel better. Let's live longer. Well, this is the end of my video, guys. I'm going to finish chugging this yummy juice down. Like I said, like, comment, Share, subscribe. Peace out.